People have said to us, well, you're going to Hamburg and you're going to go to see uh, Miniature Wonderland, but, you know, what's the main reason why you're going? Well, that was it. We flew all the way to Germany to see a model railway, and it was completely worth it. You know, all my life I've been looking at wonderful model railways and, and the technology to make trains move, but the idea that they could replicate you know, takeoffs and landings with uh, models of 747s, that seemed so astonishing and such a leap forward. I thought, we have to go and see this. When we first walked into it, I, I just think, I was so excited. I felt like I was about six years old again. And I wanted to just race into it. I wasn't able to sort of approach it with, you know, more patiently and, and with a bit of reserve. And I think it also inspired me to try to take my own lay up to the next step, which might be lighting. All of the buildings in Mitch Winterland are lit. They would do day to night scenes and then night back to day. I think it would be, even with a layout that's only in a room 15 feet square, to be able to run it with the lights off and have street lights and buildings lit up and be able to see into windows and so forth would be really taking it to the next level. The thing is, Miniature Wonderland is comprised of literally thousands of tiny scenes that are all put together. Even on a small layout, you have many tiny scenes, and so you can focus on those and think, how can I make this area that's just one foot by one foot even more interesting? What else can I do with it? I find that you can't convey how impressive and how astonishing it is. Needless to say, it would appeal to, uh, to folks who are interested in model trains, but it taps into any number of interests in that way. Architecture, model making, uh, miniatures, history. So I think it appeals to just about everybody and very much appeals to the kid in all of us.